This is Mark with the OpenShift team at Red Hat. Last week, I showed you how to install a MongoDB cartridge into your OpenShift application container. One of the things that Mongo users ask us is, how do I get to the Mongo shell? Here, I'm going to show you how. From the terminal, we will create an application. The command to do that is rhc create app a and the name of the application. In this case, I will call the application Zarkov, after the scientific explorer of the planet Mongo. And then the application type, in this case WSGI-3.2, for a Python application. Enter our password and wait for the application to be created. The Zarkov application container has been created. Now, let's embed the MongoDB cartridge into it. The command to do that is RHC CTL app dash A, and the name of the application, Zarkov, and then dash E for embed, then the embed command, which is add dash mongodb dash 2.0. The MongoDB cartridge has now been installed into the application container. Now we need to save off some useful pieces of information, so I will open a sticky. We need the UUID of the application user, so I will save that. And we need the domain name of the application, so I will save that. And most important, I need the root password to the MongoDB administration account that was created, so I will save that. Now let's connect to the Mongo shell. The command to do that is ssh-t, which will force the creation of a pseudo terminal on the far side. And then we're going to connect to our application by using the UUID at the domain name and run the command rhcsh for Red Hat Cloud Shell Mongo. The SSH has connected, and we're hooked up to the Mongo shell. Now we need to authenticate to it. The Mongo command to do that is use admin, and then db.auth, and then the username, which is admin, and the admin password, which we saved. And then we need to connect to our working database. The MongoDB container creates a MongoDB database for the application, and the name is the same as the application, so the command here is use Zarkov. Now we can do any MongoDB command and run any bit of JavaScript that MongoDB allows. Here I will say db.stats and look at the statistics for this database. If I disconnect, I am back in my local shell. Now, suppose instead of using MongoDB shell interactively, we want to make it part of a Unix pipeline. The command to do that is also very easy. First, let's create an input script feed to it. So I will create a file called input, and then I will put into it all the commands that we just entered. Use admin and then the db auth command, then use Zarkov, and then db stats. Now, I will run the ssh command again, but with a few differences. I will remove the dash t option, since now we do not want an interactive terminal and we'll redirect in our input.txt. And here you see the output. Again, there are the DB stats for the Zarkov database. And that's how you connect to the MongoDB shell on OpenShift. Thank you very much.